All right, good afternoon. This is Afi Pittman. Hey, Nicole, how are you? How are you enjoying your Saturday? I know it's hot where y'all are. It's hot here. <laughs> so this is Afi Pittman. Hey, Katana, how are you? Um, hey, so I, uh, I'm i sorry. I, this is Afi. I, my name is Afi Pittman. I'm the founder of the Let's Talk About It community for Christian women who need a safe place to discuss their life, relationship, and professional challenges. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to be there in, in a hot second myself. <laughs> so I am in the parking lot about to go into Lowe's because I found out that um, they let you take puppies, dogs in. And I try to take Sheba anywhere I go. She's still a baby, so I want to get her socialized and everything. But before I go in, I wanted to share with you guys um, one of the confessions. It is the Let's Talk About It community. And if you go to, actually, if you go to authorofmyfaith.com forward slash join, you will see the link to join the private Facebook page. It's of no cost to you. Um, you can just follow that link. All you have to do is just opt in, put your name and your email address, email address in, and then it'll take you straight there. But if you also want to find it on Facebook, it's the Let's Talk About It community for Christian women. So I wanted to share one of the... Um, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I wanted to share one of the confessions um, that I am speaking over myself today, which is I am creating the life that I really want. And what I've been doing actually since last year is changing my confession, meaning changing the words that I speak into the atmosphere, changing the words that I speak over my life, changing the words that I, that I say about other people. Okay, Nicole, I'll see you later. Have a good Saturday, lady. Thank you for stopping in. Um, and it's because last year I realized... Okay, good, good, good. And I realized that um, I did not like who I become. I did not like uh, where my life was going. And part of it was because of what I was speaking over my life. So the confession that came to mind today was I am creating the life that I want and where I got that from is a friend of mine and I were talking a few years ago and she said you know I feel you you can't always just focus on the destination I mean you can't always make a mad dash to the destination sometimes you have to really just focus on the journey to where you are going because most of your life you're going to spend en route to the destination so if you just have all of these um, these destinations in life and you know, all you're focused on is just getting to the destination. You're not really enjoying life as you get there. You're not really paying attention to the lessons along the way. You're going to miss out on a lot. And what this confession will do is two things. Number one, it will help you see that life is not just all about the destination. It's about the journey. It's about the people that you meet in route to the destination. It's about the people you meet at the destination. It's about the people you meet going, you know, leaving the destination, going to the next one. It's about focusing on life right here, right now. Um, life as it is, not just where you want it to be right so and then the second thing that it will do is it will help you understand that life is not all or nothing life is not oh well you know i made it or i didn't it's i failed or i didn't a lot of life is both a lot of life is gray most of life is not just black and white i mean there are some principles that the lord gives us that we are supposed to abide by that it really is black and white but there's so many different things like for instance we as people we're both evil and good <laughs> We're both evil and good. We strive to be good. We strive to be Christ-like. We strive, um, you know, for the perfection that Jesus Christ wants us to attain because he was perfect, right? But he paid the price on the cross because he knows that we can't attain that perfection. He knows that we're going to fail even in our striving, right? So we are both. We're both good and bad. We're both evil and good. <laughs> we're just so many things in between black and white. We're just so many different shades of gray. Life is so many different shades of gray. So this confession will help you to realize that life is not all or nothing. It's not just hit or miss. I mean, yeah, it is hit or miss, but it's not just that, right? So and I and I do want to say too, and actually the third thing that this will help you do is to is to is to stay focused and to and thank you so much for the hearts. And it's to help you stay focused when life is just all over the place. It's to help you not be so emotional, so up and down when life is so up and down. Because I know that I will go there. I know I will go there in a quick second. I will go left, right, up and down wherever life goes, whenever life goes that way. But one of the things that the Lord had to teach me was how to not be so up and down, how to not be so emotional, how to not be so down in the dumps just because 
things are not going exactly the way that I envisioned in my mind. A lot of times God will teach you something or teach you great things in the middle of not getting what you want or not having what you envisioned or purposed originally in your mind. So again, today, thank you so much, Kate Pope. So, you know, again, the the confession for today is I am creating the life that I want. Hey, Note Dog, how are you? I am creating the life that I want. That is today's confession. And if you want to join um, this series of confessions, it's going to be an audio visual series. It's free of charge to you. There are 90 confessions, 30 confessions each for your life, relationship, and professional challenges. These are confessions that you speak over yourself daily so that you can start to see a change. I was not like this a year ago. I did not look this way. I did not sound this way. I did not feel this way. Um, And I certainly was not trying to walk out the things that I knew a year ago. I am a completely different person and part of it is because I changed my confession. So I'm sharing with you in this 90 day series, all of the confessions that I am currently speaking over myself to take that part of my life to a different level, but also some of the things that I learned since last year. So if you go to authorofmyfaith.com forward slash confessions, You can join the series. It is free to you. It is 90 confessions. I'll send you a weekly email with all of your daily confessions in it. And again, it is authorofmyfaith.com forward slash confessions. All right, guys. And if you are a Christian woman, it means a safe place to discuss your life, relationship, and professional challenges. You can also go to authorofmyfaith.com forward slash join. And you will see the face the, the link to go to the Facebook group and you can join us there and we can talk. Or if you need to contact me directly, you will also see the link to do that as well on that link, authorofmyfaith.com forward slash join. All right, guys, I love you. God loves you. She loves you too. <laughs> so we'll talk to you later and I hope that you have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.